I made a huge effort in these powder skis to make sure they're really solid underfoot. And in the tip and tail, it's a little more forgiving. It's a lot more lively and fun and playful. It's gonna butter real comfortably. And they have just the right flex pattern, so they're fun, light, and lively, but they're not gonna flop around on you. If you use the right geometry in rocker and the right amount of taper and the right amount of flex, you actually don't need as much rocker. And the way I design it is four distinctly different radiuses all blended together seamlessly into a parabolic shape. The largest radius is closest to your foot and then it gets tighter, tighter and quicker and quicker as it gets out towards the tip. What that's going to do is these first two radiuses that are larger and more gentle are going to get up on a plane quicker and plane right up on top of the snow and the ones up in front, those are going to make sure you stay on top. You're just going to get out of that a much smoother float, a much more effortless float in a larger variety of conditions. Back around to the tip shape. And what we've done here is create a very mellow taper. So it's a lot of different radiuses going from side cut to no side cut to back around to the tip shape. And what it lets you do is really butter and float and surf in softer snow or even on a groomer without getting hooked up. So you're never gonna get on edge and, and feel like you know something's grabbing you. It's gonna float real effortlessly, it's gonna surf around, butter, throw tricks, switch from forward to backwards and feel extremely, extremely comfortable doing that. And I think one of the things that people fall in love with the most on the friend is the side cut. In the tip, it's gonna hook real easily, real effortlessly. When you put your pressure in the middle of a turn underfoot, it's gonna hold a powerful, strong edge through the turn. And then in the tail, it tightens up again in its radius and it's gonna pop out of the turns like you'd expect from a carving or all mountain free ride ski. And so when you take this on firm snow, it's gonna rail, it's gonna carve, it's gonna be intuitive edge to edge, no different than a 95 or even a 100 waist ski would be. So you've really got the best combination of a lightweight, free ride ski, you know, for powder and the best attributes of an all mountain ripping carving ski rolled up into one.